Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll be talking about linear regression, okay? So first, let's export, as usual, our um, country's database. Uh, that means a study area that we wanna focus on this uh, linear regression modeling or analysis. So I'll export, as always, a country's database using as a fusion table. Here is my fusion table ID. And then I'll sub since it is a global data, I'll subset it by country. In this case, I'll use Ethiopia as um, an example country. Uh, so this will give me uh, a boundary for Ethiopia. And then the other function is since we're doing about a linear regression, we wanna um, create the uh, time stamp function. So I'll create a variable at time and then call it a function and then the input image and uh, a bracket and then return image advanced image metadata system start so we want to um, create a timestamp that's a system time start so you will create a, a data layer with the system time step and then um, uh, a time parameter here uh, 1060 60 20 for 365 um, so for an entire year it would it would give us um, a timestamp for each date, okay? And then close that function. So this function will create technically a timestamp image uh, within the image collection. And then the next step is actually to create, uh, to import a, a MODIS image collection, um, a vegetation in this uh, image collection, which has this um, image collection ID. Uh, and that's how I, um, uh, you know, import an image collection in honors engine. So I'll create a variable collection and then EE image collection and I'll call this image ID and filter it by date. So in this case, I am looking at to uh, uh, model a time series trend or a linear, um, you know, trend function using 15 years of data. That means starts from January 2000 to, to um, 20. Uh, 17 and the most important thing here is now I'll map uh, I'll apply this um, time function to the entire image collection so what it does is for every image it creates a, another image with a timestamp so that later when we run the linear regression model we'll use that um, time stamp image to uh, um, run a trend or a linear fit model, okay? And then as usual, a filter bound, since this is a global data, I'll need to only select uh, an, a, a MODIS image collection that um, overlaps with this uh, boundary, Ethiopia, okay, for this example. All right, so now we have created um, a, an image um, timestamp function and then apply that um, timestamp function to our entire image collection that we have created. Now the next fun part is to create a linear uh, regression model using this um, timestamp image as well as the entire image collection. Okay, so um, so so my 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 um, function is I'll, I'll just call it a trend and then uh, I'll pull this image collection which has the image as well as the timestamp image and then select the two variables, that means the time, uh, system time start, that, that means my time uh, variable, and also NDVI here. I wanna test the trend um, over that 15 period, whether there, there's an increasing trend or a decreasing trend uh, over that entire 15 year period. So the, the, the variable or parameter that I'm looking at, the trend is NDVI, okay? So now we have two parameters, time um, as well as NDVI. Now the next and uh, ma main step is to run a linear regression model. I'll do that by um, writing an algorithm dot reduce um, e, e reducer and a linear fit. This is the regression model that that this is the the algorithm that that runs the regression model to test a trend over this entire um, time series. Um, so you have a time. Uh, parameter and you have NDVI parameter and then you you run a regression fit and then that will give you a trend output. So your output now here is, um, you know, uh, you know this trend that will tell you whether there is for any place or for a each pixel on that entire study area. So you'll have 
um, an output whether there is an increasing trend or decreasing trend um, in terms of NDVI, Normalized Differential Vegetation Index, which tells you that, you know, if, if that place has um, increasing vegetation cover, declining vegetation cover, okay, so that's, um, that's our output. So let's, let's examine uh, our, um, our product or our output of this, you know, uh, linear regression model or trend analysis. And then first, as always, I would like to uh, f um, uh, focus the map canvas to our study area. So I'll write map.center object to um, change the focus of the, you know, this map canvas. And then finally, I'll create a map of, you know, this um, trend output. So I'll, I'll, I'll call this trend, which is our uh, linear regression model. Since we ran that model to a global, you know, data, um, I'll just clip it by our, our study area here and I'll define a minimum and maximum. So I'll call the bands. So by default, the trend analysis provides you a scale and, you know, offset. So I'll just call that as my band um, in, in this plot and, you know, just name it uh, NDVI trend in Ethiopia so that I remember it when I have it here on the map canvas. And then just, um, you know, save this script and click run here to run my uh my entire uh, you know trend analysis using a linear regression uh, model okay excellent so now um my model is running and i should have um, an output of a linear regression fit model which shows me trend over <coughs> uh, ethiopia okay so excellent so we have um uh, three different colors um, so the the green shows an increasing slope or an increasing trend in vegetation cover um, <clears throat> and for example um, this part of Ethiopia is just the western part of Ethiopia where we have you know the, the majority of you know the forest is so uh, it, it kind of makes sense to have this you know increasing trend over that entire period probably due to afforestation um, and then some area, the red area is just a declining in NDVI values. That means, you know, if, if you're talking about, you know, forest cover, it might be deforestation. Um, and so that's, uh, you know, and then you, you can actually evaluate the, you know, you can actually inspect, you know, sample, um, you know, pixels by clicking that. And then you'll have a value for, for that specific area. Okay. So, for example, if I, um, you know, click some green areas, I should have a positive value here. That means a positive trend. OK, so if you look at the scale here, that's the trend value. Right. So if, if I click here on the red area, I should have a negative trend. Right. So it's minus 84. And then if I click, you know, a green area, which is a positive trend, I should have a positive value here on the scale. So that's how um, you generate a trend analysis um, using a linear uh, regression model uh, on Earth's engine using. So this is for, for the 15 year period. That means starting from uh, 2015, 20, uh, 2000 to 2017. That means um, uh, 20 there to 2017. So for. Uh, an entire 15 years period so you can understand if there is an increasing trend or a decreasing trend in vegetation cover in this case ndvi which is a normalized difference vegetation index uh, that's an index or um, you know a parameter uh, a satellite you know index that we use to monitor uh, biomass or vegetation cover on on a land surface